Welcome to Burr Woods. In this video, we're going to explain how to measure for your clock hands. Um, what you'll do is once you have your pattern or your clock face set, um, measure from the center hole to one of three places, uh, in front of, on, or past the number. Um, and that will determine the size hands you get. Um, in my case, from my center to before the number, it was four inches. So we're gonna go look for four inch hands, and that's for the, the minute hand. Uh, the hour hand is just paired with it. You don't have to measure for the hour hand. It's just paired together, so you don't need to figure that out. So what we'll do is we'll come up to here in our uh, Shop by Department's clocks, and we'll click uh, hands under five inches. We separate them under and then larger than five. It makes it a little easier for, for folks to navigate through. So we'll just scroll down till we get to a four inch. All right, four inch spade clocks. Uh, we'll do is add to the cart. All right, and you'll see on all the clock parts, there's a little cheat sheet here. Um, kind of explains the same thing I'm doing in the video. Uh, the thickness of your wood determines what type of movement you'll get. And then the hands, the size of the hands also dictates what type of movement you'll get. Because anything larger than a four and a half inch hand um, will need a high torque movement. So that's why I like to do my hands first. Then I can pick my motor or my movement. So it's just, it, you come to the same end, but it's just a little little different. Um, once you once I put that in my cart, I could scroll down here. You'll see a couple tabs down here. See the suitable clock movements. And you just click on that. That'll bring you over to all our motors. Um, and then what we're gonna do is, I am using three quarter inch material now your material could be whatever thickness you want just remember take into account that if you recess this mo uh, motor you'll just have to account for the the recess um, this this stud here will then protrude out of the front of your face so you just have to account for it I am not recessing this whatsoever. So um, I am just using, I'm gonna use the hanger that comes uh, comes with the kit uh, and just hang it on the wall. It's a little easier to do. It's not that big of a clock. Um, so I click on here, add it to my cart. Same thing, you see the, the little cheat sheet here. Whoops, I didn't really wanna do that. Why'd I do that? Huh, that's okay. All right. Now what we'll do is you could come up to the clock clock parts again. I have uh, right here aluminum clock dials. So here we have a large variety of clock faces, dials. Um, if you are into restoring old clocks or replicas, making replicas of them, or just uh, making your own clock. Um, here is a list of uh, the products we have. It's pretty good. Uh, also, if you come back over here, uh, go over to accessories. Now, if you, don't, if you don't get a second hand, as far as your, your seconds, um, the seconds just pop, pops right into the center of the movement. Um, if you do not need that or want that, you can get little caps, um, which will cover that and make it a little decorative. So as a brass and the black caps here. Um, so there's a uh, quite a few things. Uh, we also have uh, pendulums uh, for like a grandfather clock. Also, we revamped the, the site a little bit and uh, we have added uh, 
a lot more woodworking things. So if you're into um, any type of woodworking, please uh, check out our our growing list of equipment and supplies. And if there's any questions, please feel free to reach out to us and we'll get back to you in a timely fashion. Thank you and have a great day.